Fakes. Today's episode of Fishing with Curry. I'm Jack, and this water is lovely. Today's episode, you will see some mud crabs being pulled out of their natural habitat. And thank you for coming. That's Jack Attenborough for you, everyone. Uh, we're going to throw some ultimate pro crab pots in the water. We got some fish frames. We got some chicken frames. The best combination for crabs. We'll see how we go. We got a few beers, but we won't go over the limit. You know us, we'd never do that. Look, give them a we're little sounder here. Oh, there's a couple of little scooby luckies going around on the sounder, but more looking at these drains at the moment. We're going to chuck four pots along this bank, see how we go, and then we might head out the mouth a bit further. Chuck some chuck four pots out there. Just seeing a crocodile go floating on the fuck in the uh, in the creek, not the effing creek, just the creek. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll um, chuck four here, four out the mouth. We'll come back and pick them up tomorrow and see if we got any mud spiders. We'll see you there. What do you reckon, Jack Attenborough? Bro? You got anything else to say, buddy? Crabs are young. Crabs are very young. Crabs are very young. <laughs> Nice little brimbo in there, bit of chicken. We'll mix it up in every pot. I reckon we got enough to mix it up. Bit of fish and a bit of chico in each one. We'll set four up and then we'll go and drop them in. I reckon that'll be our easiest bet. What do you reckon, Jack Attenborough? We on? Chico, don't slide. Your chico rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Confucius there. Man who run behind car gets exhausted. Man who run in front of car get tired. <laughs> Let's get some pots in the water. We'll go up to this first gutter. The big man dropped and loaded with two pots up there. I got two pots back here that the big fella can throw in. He knows where he's throwing them. He knows what to do. Anyone that doesn't know, we got a bit of bait, bit of chicken in each pot. We'll soak them overnight, come back tomorrow morning. See this little gutter here? It's low tide at the moment, on a high tide. The crabs go up there, Bob's away there. Ultimate Pro deckhand. Took me a while to remember. We got another little gutter up here that we'll throw it in. Keep you rolling. And I reckon tomorrow, these two beautiful green and orange pots will have a few nice rusty bucket mutuals in them. We'll go up here, find a few more gutters, and we'll chuck these other two. We'll head further out the mouth. It is a bloody beautiful North Queensland day. The boat has had a bit of a birthday, but I'll run through that, run you through that at a later date. But um, yeah, I'm happy to be out again. Just coming up to another gutter here. Should be good on high tide. Don't look like much at the moment, but as you can see, it goes up a fair way. We got one more to throw, and then we'll go for a bit of a gander out this way, out towards the mouth, and see how we go. I'll keep his on the record while we get there. see how we go. That's, That's your pick, the last one of the first four. Yeah. We'll come back to that tomorrow to see if oh, the ultimate pro deckhand. I did love a look at that. Yeah, that does look good. But they'll come out from that to get in there too. We got some tasty baits, so we'll see how we go. We'll get out the mouth and um, we'll do the next four. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. Hope you're having a nice day. Hope you're having a nice day. If not, grab yourself a beverage and enjoy the show. Oh, I just come up to the honey hole. As you can see, there's a pot back there. A little sneaky, sneaky curry creek. But we've seen a lot of bait coming up here, so we're just gonna get some. We're not gonna have much of a fish today, but we can keep them fresh in the esky for some good dead baits tomorrow. Just because there was so many up here. You just let me know when you're ready, Jack Attenborough, and we'll sort them out. I reckon in that little cove they'll be. 
Oh, beautiful cars. Surely he's nailed them. I think he's done well. He's done real well. Oh, beautiful mullet too. Exactly what the boys want for tomorrow. Some herring, some mullet, perfect. I'll just putter out and just watch this tree coming past here and then I'll sort it. Just me off the yeah, sorry. All right, we'll just sit here for a second, sort them out, and we'll go again. Bombs away. Oh yeah, mud skipper, it's telling us there's crabs there, 100%. Marker. One more pot to go, and we're going fishing. Just gonna soak alive here today. See how we go. See how we go. One more pot. I'll leave his recording. We'll find the next little gutter and bombs him away. Yeah, bombs him away, bud. Bombs him away. Bombs the way. Pots are in the water. You right up there, buddy? What's he got, the big fella? I always reckon a codly by the look of that. Oh, you're kidding, it's an eel. Or a sea snake. Hold on, I need to get some footage of that. Let me drop this. What even is that, bud? All tangled up is what it is. That's your fun, that's what that is. Wow. What even is that? Eel bud. Yeah, good fun with that. Have fun with that, I should say. I said no, bust up, we'll have a race. He just smoked all three bumps. Hey, he just fucking smoked it. Hopefully there's some mackerels about. Yes, it is very cold this morning. Starting to warm up from Big Yalla. Hopefully we get a bit of zit zit very soon. Woohoo! We're on. Haven't even made it to the point yet. Decent fish. Hey. Queenie. Queenie. Yeah. Big Queenie. Nice sashimi. Coming at us. It's on and I'll get the net ready. Decent sized Queenie.
Yeah, boy. <laughs> Bit of action. Bit of action for Jack Attenborough. <laughs> <coughs> Where are you, Mr. Queenie? Where are you? Coming very shortly. Coming very shortly? Oh, oh. Going for a run. Come on, a bit of acrobatics, mister. There he is, out there. Still a little bit away. Oh yeah, you That's just turned him. Evil. It's He's a big green. Yeah. It's gonna be fun getting him in this net. It's gonna be fun getting him out of the net. If I get a chance, I'll just tail him, but we'll see. He's definitely got some size about him. <laughs> You'll tie her out eventually, my friend. What size is That's only 20-pound Snyder with 80-pound leader. So don't put too much hurt on him. Yeah. There's the lighthouse, people. Just got here. Oh, well, didn't even get here yet, and we're on, so... It's as easy as that. I think we got a Helco laser two meter diver. I think it's in the coral trout color, that one actually. And the Queenie chomped him up. He's good size, very good size. Every time he sees the boat, goes for a skedaddle. Go too hard at it. Mm. It's a good fish. Come on, buddy. The old six thousand bait runner on the ugly stick doing the doing the deed for the boys. Just going under the boat, the bugger. Test the, test the gear out, test your arms out. I don't want to put the net in the water because it might scare him off again. Keep him coming. He's not far. All right, swing him this way if you can. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that is a slab, bud. Oh. <laughs> nearly both of us just nearly went out the boat, but that is a slab of a fish. You got to get a hold of him, bud. That's an over meter queenie. How do you feel? Jack Attenborough just got his arms stretched, eh? Good fish. We'll get him all untangled and get him out of there and give his a hold up, eh? He's diving out over it. Well, love to see that. Bit of blood on the deck. Jack goes off the board already. Gonna chuck another lure out, so we'll have two lures out now. Head around this corner and see how we go. I'll get back to you when the action's happening. Yeah, nah. She's a bit too hectic over this side of the cape for the boys in the little boat. <laughs> so we're going to head back to calmer waters, troll around there for a bit. If no good, we'll go for a bottom bash. We're marking some good marks here. I think a lot of them are turtles, but see how we go. We'll have another 10 minutes all around here. But yeah, she's not very good for the little four meter dinghy. So we'll go back to some safer waters. Got him. Yes. 
decent fish too. Yeah. Good fish. Yes! Good fish. It's only unlike your light gear though, it's not your Lexa member. A bit with Nanny. Yeah. That's smallie. He might be legal. Small man. And check him. Check him there. Beautiful fish. Oh well, we're on here, bud. What do we got this time? Uh, Jacko, another red eye. Yeah, caliber four. Yeah. Another nanny. Another nanny for the boys. Get him, Jacko. Get him, Jacko. Oh, hey. Get him, Jacko. On the squid tracks. Oh, bait. Oh, he pulled it. Oh, no. hey. oh, well, they're still here. Oh, no. Little oh, many. Jesus. <clears throat> See it, buddy. Oh, oh, no, don't see it, buddy. Oh, oh, can't lift him with this little rod. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. It's just a little, little rod. Be close to 40, but probably just under. <laughs> I'm gonna just show this net, but I just want to see if it is what I think it is. Yeah, they'll probably all scatter before it gets to the bottom, but we'll see. I just have to see. Yeah. It's going to take seven years to get there. Don't have enough rope anyway. Waste of time. You're kidding. Chuck these down, Jack. Okay. Chuck these down. Yep. Well, I've got a cord here. That's not very big anyway.
Get me bait back. In someone else's line. Mine that I snapped before. <laughs> That's the fit. <gasps> you just made me lose my bait. killed him. Turtle shell just float. He hasn't been dead long. Still stinks. Alrighty then. We're back from the Cape. Just the one Queenie and a few nanny guys. We got the Ultimate Pro Deckhand. I bet the pool. The Ultimate Pro Crab Pot. Straight out the water. They've had a good 24 hours soak. Or nearly. We're a little bit earlier than what we put them in yesterday. But that's alright. see how we died how we died how did we died <clears throat> oh there was a big one on top but it was a big crab too that's been flipped over that's why that was a big crab bud and another one is that a keeper? That looks like a keeper. It's a keeper. One out of the first two, but two on top of it. Wow. All right, we'll move to the next. I'll sort this one. I'll give you a look at him. The tide did flip it over with overnight, so there was two crabs on the outside that we missed, but we'll see how we go with this one. He's just sitting up in that gutter. Hopefully there's a crabby or two in it. We will find out very, very directly. Crab in it. Are they goodies? Well, I think we got at least one in there, maybe two. I'll get us out of here, go into the middle, and we'll see how we go. Definitely one. Two. I think that's a Jenny, that other one, eh? At the front? No, the one near you is a Jenny. Yeah, perfect. And that other one should be a fucking good crab, eh? Beautiful. I'll sort these and I'll get back to you. Where did I just put my measure? He is well and truly in today. I'm gonna call for one in this one minimum, surely. Come on, big rusty. One big rusty. One big rusty. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Better than none. Come down from that bank. Oh yeah. Croc just come down from there. Our pot's just here, so hopefully the pot's still intact. That's pretty cool with the mud track. Yeah. Big mud track from the croc. He'll be underneath us right now. Hey. Come, <laughs> come and get some. We might just moment. How did we go in pot number five? Two crabs in the S sky. Not as good as has been coming up to the full moon, but oh yeah, there's a donkey in there there's two eh yep. two really good crabs in there lift it up and show and show the camera there jacko look at that Woohoo! 
some good crabbies in there. Lovely. Roll jacket. That big fella. There he comes. That's a good crab man. Oh! Woo! Nilly wasn't. He nearly wasn't. Oh yeah. Number seven, is it any better? It's been pretty dismal to be honest. Oh yeah, they look like a goody down there, eh? Very possible. He's trying to get out. Look at him trying to get out the extraction hole. He can't fit. <laughs> He's legal, boys. He's legal. That's what they're for, to keep big ones like you and let the little ones out. Fuck, that is a big crow. I mean, God, that is a big crow. Oh, that's a really good crow, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. He'll nearly climb out that pocket, I reckon. sum up the day I might do a bit of a catch and cook when I get home but I think we ended up with four or five crabs in the boat nice big queenie but um yeah beats sitting at home if you ask me on the long weekend go back home now take the kids to the show and um yeah weekend well spent if you ask me see how we go anyway And this is why all three bungs has been out of action. Yeah, she's got a nice little cracky, slicey kadunji there. So we've got it all pulled apart and she's going into Northern Hard Services. And we're gonna get him repaired. I'll also get the proper Minn Kota plate put up the front here. Just get a little plate put up from the front here because this just flexes a little bit. It's all right, but just flexes on that plate. So we'll get that done, get it all put back together. Put some more of the um, EVA foam as well. So I'll redo that. It just, with the crab pots going up there and that drag, and I'm going to do it a bit different this time, round the edges off so it shouldn't happen as much. I've already done the latch there. As you can see, it looks a lot better than the rest of it. So... We'll see how we go. We'll get her back together and we'll hopefully get back up on the water. Doing all the electrics while we got it all sorted and whatnot as well. So, yeah, I'll see you when it's getting put back together. Alrighty, just giving her a bit of a clean out after yesterday's mission out to the Cape and crabbing. Just showing you what we've done. As you can see, all the wiring's back tidied up, nice and tidy, all working again. Um, we got the hole repaired under the floor. As you can see, it's all welded there, plated and whatnot. We changed the trailer up to skid so there's not so much pressure on it. We replaced the rollers at the back of the trailer as well. Um, oh yeah, up the front, we got the um, Minn Kota mount plate put on. So it's all welded on nice and strong now. You can swing off it, so that's all done. Um, what else did we get done? New lights on the front, just a couple of new spotties. Um, oh, a couple of plastic cup holders we replaced. And yeah, that's about it. Put a little transducer spray guard on, on the transducer. But yeah, she's back going again and I'm happy as Larry. A couple of little things still I want to do to it, but yeah. Oh, I still haven't got to put in the floor on. I got it in there, but I haven't put it on yet, so... Yeah, but I'll, um, we're going to get the family over tonight and Jacko and do a bit of, ooh, bit of a catch and cook. Sorry, me quiche breakfast is coming back on me. <laughs>
But yeah, we'll do a bit of a catch and cook. Might do some chilli mud crab and I'll cook that queenie up a couple of ways. We'll see how we go. But I'll see you later on this afternoon, eh? Ultimate pro crab pot coming up with the goods again. <clears throat> That's our share of them. Gonna do a nice cook up tonight. Nice chilli crab. It's gonna be a sweet chilli crab because the kids want to try this one. So I'm not gonna put any actual hot chilli. I'll just seed all the chilies that's going in it and um see how we go with that and i'll probably serve it with rice for them but i've got that big queenie we're going to do as well and i'll show you i'm going to do it in a special crumb that is a little bit out of the ordinary but we'll see how we go with that yum 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 just about to clean these i'll pull the carapace off them and get all the gills and split them in half crack all the shells ready for the chili crab Chew beauty What's daddy doing, Buggy? Cutting the queenie. Cutting the queenie? Did it work today, friends? Mummy, I'm going home to the queenie. Did you bleed? Wow. Got three balls being called in the orange, you know? Oh, it's New South Wales. Mm hmm. <coughs> That's all the rib cave, so you cut over it. Oh, get through that big, thick bit. These ones have a fish. Boom. Quickly, I'll show you one little trick I did learn. I need to find one first. Pause it for a second. This is all you need. Well, you can do it without it, but little stubby holder, uh, stubby cap, put it on the end, hold him, just helps hold it, just to get it started, especially for a slimy fish, and then you can discard it. Up out of the way, Boogie. What are you Yellow. doing? What are you doing over here, guys? Gonna <laughs> dry another fish out, put it in. Pop it in the bag. Oh, it's a bit wet, is it? The one that jumped Yeah. Yeah, well, he's recording it. Alright, so I got the family coming over. This is more of a freezer trick. But leave a little bit unsealed. Yeah. Put it all down as far as you can. Can I hop out of the way? And it pushes all the air out, pushes all the air out, all the way to that point. And then right when it gets to that point, this is a poor man's cry of it. You seal it off. Look at that. Cry of that. Fish. Freeze that up, whatever. We're going to eat most of this tonight, but that's pretty much cry of that fish. No air in it. Ready to go. Beautiful. As for chili mud crab, little trick, just snap a bit of his leg off, get it up under there if you don't have fingernails. And then finger in there, grab him, and a nice rip, get all that off. Rip and tear. Yuckiness. Rip and tear. Put that in there. Yuck, yucky, lots of all that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. His lungs, his little head. Yeah, I know. I agree, it's a bit of flavour, but. The kids are eating it and they don't like it, so we'll get it all out. Get his head off, his lungs out. You snap him backwards, inwards, and then out. Nice little flick. Oh. Beat him. And that's one crack on it. It's easy as that. Get all that custard out. Crab clean, ready to go. I'll crack all his nippers. And that'll be ready for chili crab. Boom. All right, all right, all right. We got a bag of fish. 
And I'll show you what to do when your fish isn't the best quality, but still good fish. Crumb, panko, but mix it. Chicken twisties, ladies and gentlemen, you get the saltiness, you get the flavors of all the chicken. Oh, we got some show memorabilia from last night. And we'll mix that together. Flour, egg, straight into that. Boom, straight into oil. Bob's your uncle. Everyone's fed with a tasty treat. On the way. We just lovely, got garlic lovely. on there at the moment. Garlic and ginger. Garlic and ginger in there at the moment. Sauteing that off. Yeah, Alright, that's where it is. We're all cooking in the sauce now. I'll put up on the screen what the recipe is and the method, but they'll probably cook for another five minutes in that sauce and they'll be ready to go. Beautiful. So there's a lot we got on, that's the adults version, it's a bit spicy, but the next one is going to be the kids version, so it's going to have sweet chilli, hoisin, tamarind and oyster. You add all that second, you start off, oh sorry, you start off with these three, get them flamenti, I don't know, ar aromatic, cook the crabs in them for three minutes, once that's cooked, add these three, I'll put the measurements up on the screen of what I add. And then at the very end, add your coconut cream, and it's like a Thai sweet chili, I suppose. And the kids love it, so I'll show you that next. This has got probably another two, three minutes, and that'll be the nice spicy one for the boys. Everyone's here. You want some crab? Yeah. Yeah, do you like crab? You don't like crab. You want some cheese? All right, Mrs. Curry has just gone and taken the adults one in to keep it warm. Got the kids version on now, just the sweet chilli, coconut, tamarind paste and what I showed you before. Let that cook for a bit with a few stirs and tosses in between. And then right at the end, like I said, add the coconut cream and that'll be a tasty treat for not just kids, everyone that don't like spicy food. So I'll see you when it's done and when we're hooking in. Cream in. That should be plenty, about half a can I'm putting into that because it's only two crabs and we'll stir him in. Should go a nice, beautiful orangey colour. And we'll let that cook for another two to three minutes. And that'll be the kids' feed. If they don't eat it, <laughs> you know who will. Alright, time for the kiddos' feed to come off. That's all nice and ready. Lovely. If they don't enjoy it, you all know who will. Lovely. Oh, the crab is ready. We got the adult version over this side, kid version over this side. This side's spicy, this side is not. Looks bloody beautiful. I'll give you the verdict of the adults in about two minutes. I'm gonna take it out there and see what they think. Lovely. That's a cute. I should have showed you the Queensland lollipop, but I just smashed it. This one was chock as ours. It is lovely. I'm glad I went. This is the kids' version, actually. I'll try the hot one next. Oh, yeah, we It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Gentlemen, cracking it for you, missus. Oh, fuck, yeah. What do you reckon it means? Yeah, we're going to have a good day. 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 Yeah, we're going to have a good for an advertiser. We got all the fish in here. Oh, enough to feed everybody. Just finishing off the chips, but I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Enjoy the family time. Thanks for tuning in everybody. I appreciate it. I got a couple of lures there. I'll um, present them on either my Instagram or Facebook there for some comments on the last couple of videos. There's a Zarek prawn, um, some li uh, live shrimp, a few there but I'll um, present them during the week. So stay posted on me um, Instagram and Facebook and I'll let you know who won them. Um, I'll see you on the next one, eh? Thanks for all your support once again.